maximum energy into the epithets. Okay? There are many things you must remember after this seminar. One of this, that you have an idea on which level of training you have to work in this moment with your special dog, in this age with your special dog. Next is, you have to understand the pressing model. You will learn what it is. You have to always have in your head V3 forces. When the dog makes this, you have to do this. When the dog makes this, you have to do this. And you will learn what this is and what this is. And then the dog sport becomes very easy. And to understand the drives and the process of conflict management, how can I put the drive into these shitty exercises? Yeah. And this conflict management, uh, you have to understand uh, what's going on there. And for this, you need no more words, just cuts. And this makes dog sport international. You see, the Russian champion, Irina, came several times to my house. She speaks no German, she speaks no English, I don't speak Russian. And we train perfect together. Because she has been in my seminar in Moscow, and she learned gray, green, orange, blue. And she learned to these three colors, the helper tools and the handler tools. And then I just have to say green, and she knows what she has to do, and I know as a helper what I have to do. And this makes dog sports so easy. So what I teach you here is learn on which level of training you are, then learn the colors, and learn the pressing mode. This is all. The rest is practic things with timing and coordination. And of course the tools how to teach. And then dog sport and training your dog goes quick. I need 30 tracks to teach my dog the track. I need 20 training sessions and the dog has learned the shoot speed, including searching signs. And obedience is a little bit more uh, and uh, but if the dog is prepared a little bit, this goes also very quick. But then it's not generalized. It's a special situation. And I will point you out all these things now in the seminar. I'm glad that Orton had already her talk, so I can go very quick uh, to this point. Of course, this uh, call the chain. Uh, I put in the in the beginning uh, in the vertical. First you train, then you test in trial, then you select the best ones, then you put them in breeding, and then you maintain the cultural bond. You keep a good dog, a good working dog. And if you train, if you don't train and breed, you're a blind one who's talking about color. And they have all special dogs because they don't know they're on level one. They're unconscious, incompetent. And when you train your dog, you see, there is no world champion falling from heaven. Every dog has problems. And you never get the dog you dream of. But you can take a dog, every dog has talents, and there where he has no talent, you have to train. So at the end, when you judge in the trial, you have to judge three things. First is, how much power is there in this dog and in this work? Second is, how perfect and how good did the handler put this energy into this shitty exercise? The dog never likes. And to have full drive and full technique, this only works when the compulsion place proper. And the drive is not destroyed. And the compulsion is only placed proper when there is totally <coughs> when there is totally harmony and coordination. So when we talk about learning, you will 
you, you will hear from me plan A, plan B, plan C. Plan C is a negative reinforcement, it's a compulsion word. This is the secret of your training. Plan A is easy and it's very important, but the secret for high performance is compulsion. <coughs> and if you do it wrong, you destroy it. And if you do it perfect, you make lots of other things. And if there is no understanding and no harmony and no coordination, plan C breaks the dog, goes broke. Now you have to learn uh, how you have to act that the dog understands perfect. You get a good harmony, a good understanding, a good coordination, so that you can place plan C in a positive way. It's the same with my employees and practice. One thing is positive, 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 positive. Then they teach how to do. Hey, don't laugh. You have all, behind, you have all this behind you. And uh, she's perfect. Uh, but there is not only she can do, she knows she has to do. And then if someone can do it, and it's easy to do. There comes the point, I can do it. This is my life. I'm proud of this. And then you have to go, you don't have to motivate any longer. And if there is coordination and harmony, you don't have to motivate any longer. Because this individual, human or dog, is the same, likes it because he's competent in it and he can do it. So, where do we have to go? This is a proper drive with a proper technique and the optimal coordination. This is this functional area. I always like to, to put it uh, as a highway where the dog has to go or just a box where the dog has to stay on. And what means pressing? Pressing means focus, the full energy for the work, high attendance and make the dog in the exercise maintain in the barking bah, 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 without distraction in the biting without distraction in the healing without distraction maintain the exercise there are some exercises who last longer and some exercises very short and the, the long lasting exercises they create the character and you should know if you train a box with a young dog, or <laughs> you train another obedience where the dog doesn't go in a blue box instead of a gray appetence. We come to this point. Which drives are available are, of course, the first question. Oops. Yeah. And there are the big four hunger, love, flight, and aggression. Hunger make sure that the tank is full, that the hardware gets energy. Love makes reproduction. Over that part, a lot of this, and how important it is to have no bottlenecks, to have a genetic pool, uh, you have the double helix of the DNA, which is the uh, genetic information in every cell we have. And uh, the problem is, if we do this champion breeding, and if we select, there are two advances. All the outcome, all the animals look the same and they act the same. And this is the aim of every breeder. Okay? The problem is, if you equalize the DNA, which is a double strength, half father, half mother, if you make it equal, they look the same, they act the same. But also, all these genes who make enzymes, proteins, which produce antibodies, which makes a resistance of the body. Yeah? They are very the same. And if you keep these dogs in a sterile zoo, it's okay. But put them out in the wildlife. They have no diversity to act on everything. With the, with the antibody, with the uh, vitality and, and all this. And this is a problem of uh, the philosophy we we 
rely on more than 100 years. And this is why every race goes broke after a while. If you don't care about the wildness of the genetic process. But she's better at this than I am. We have hunger, love, flight makes sure that you are not eaten up by the enemy. If there is a rabbit sitting and the wolf is coming and he flies, makes a flight, it's okay. But if he doesn't do, this genetic material is eaten up and doesn't go on to the next generation. And it's the same with the aggression. If the female defends the puppies one time, two times, and wouldn't do it any longer, these puppies are eaten up. The genetic material doesn't, doesn't go through. And now this makes it very interesting. These two, and just remind the colors, blue and gray, and forgot all these difficult words. This makes it too difficult to understand doctrine. Just let's talk in colors. So, blue and gray must be available all the time. If this would get tired, genetic material is out. <laughs> Green is not available all the time because if the stomach, if the rabbit is in the stomach, oh. it's enough when green comes up after 24 hours again. So, this gets tired, these are, you don't get tired. Therefore, it's nice if we teach the dog to work for prey, to work for food, to work for green. But when it's hot and you go to the masters and the dog goes only for green, no chance. This dog must either have aggression in shoot things, which is available all the time, even if there are 40 degrees. And this dog <coughs> must know if I don't work, there is help. And must be fearful by the help. And if you have a good mixture of hope and fear, then you have this high appetite and the dog works even with 40 degrees. So, this is Konrad Lorenz and Konrad Most. They said this is our motivation, which is here placed in the middle brain of our head. The upper brain makes intelligence, the lower brain makes uh, all the organ functions like saliva, like um, heart rate, like breathing, and we cannot control this in the bottom of our brain. The middle brain, with the emotions, we also cannot control so much, because the hierarchy is from the bottom to the top. And uh, we think that we are intelligent, working people, believe me, as a dentist. One milliliter liquid and an 80 kilogram body acts different if I come with my breath drill. <laughs> Without this, only <laughs> this little liquid in 80 kilograms, and he's lying there, they accept my treatment. Yeah? So it's all emotion. 80% of all our communication is non-verbal, is middle brain, is emotion. If I reach you with 20% of my message, message, I was good. So I will try 21. And okay, so we have this prey behavior. We have our own chronological words: prey behavior. We have the sexual behavior. Uh, we have the avoidance behavior, and we have the aggression. This is defense or active aggression. So now, when we talk about dog training, what comes out from the green? Motivation, attack and the biting, grip, calm grip, and confidence are green tools. So if we do a helper workshop, I will teach you how to act as a helper, to put out green and to, to put the green in the dog, and uh, to bring these things, motivation, attack, grip, and confidence. The sexual part we have not yet developed for training. <laughs> and, um, 
I looked very long for a good word for the, for the blue. And the adaptive behavior is a good word for the blue. There is something like obedience, there is something like needability, there is something like social, social behavior. Um, it's the way the dog adapts to environment, to people. And here we have uh, the active aggression, the reactive aggression, we have the dominance. So, this is what you have to learn. The whole training has just made the dog stable in gray, makes the dog stable in blue, makes the dog stable in uh, green, and if shit happens, go to the orange. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's always the same that you have a dog which is not perfect. You cannot handle over 10 exercises. And in between, shit happens. And you communicate 24 hours the day. You, there is no non-communication. And the dog learns 24 hours a day. And in these situations, which are not, uh, they are not defined, the dog learns can do his drive hand. And this is always technical shit. So you communicate in these holes of the training, you can do this shit. And uh, this is very difficult to stay away from bad learning phases. Teaching the proper thing is easy, but staying away from from rocky Nowadays, when I teach someone to handle his dog, I go with him to the car when he puts him out of the car. Because what he destroys when he puts the collar on, with talking, 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 sit down, dog stands up, he comes with a uh, collar, which is a distraction, the dog stands up, hey, 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 he doesn't react in a good timing. So, you cannot teach the dog in these 10 minutes on the training field, you cannot reteach the dog there, if there, in five minutes or in two minutes, is produced so much wrong things. So, we came to these colors names. This is open. This is hyperactivity or aggression. <laughs> this is adaption. And this is prey. So just remind the colors. And everything becomes so easy to communicate and to work out. And the helper knows his work for grain, his work for grain. So, for green, for green, you never must use this biceps as a helper. For green, you always have to use these muscles and this capetius. This is green. This is always grain. So, and if you want to teach a dog the work, you stabilize here, here, and here, and you teach signal control when change. When change from aus, <laughs> yeah, you teach him just that the signal control aus makes a change. And this is perfect doctrine. This one is not so easy. Important colors. <laughs> The handler wants 100 points. <laughs> not the same. Absolutely not. Yeah? So we are here. We have to do the conflict management. And we do the game. If you do, you can get your hand. And this is the way the dog learns. But what is the situation for the dog? What two options has this dog to solve the conflict? There are two possibilities. There's a wall. I want to go there. Now, man's intelligence. 
I want to go there. There's a wall. Hey, I go there. Okay? Hyperactivity, aggression, go through the problem and fix it in your way. Okay? Now, there's another option. Woman's intelligence. <laughs> you go to the blue. Oh. You solve the problem, then you adapt to the situation, you look intelligent for a solution, and then the handler, and he says, click, and you can get your prey. So, this dog who makes obedience in blue goes in the box. You put him here, one time <coughs> propulsion, and the dog, please, 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 please give me. If you try this with a mully, it's perfect. If you try this with a shepherd, he says, okay, I do this. Then you make click and you give him. And after a while, he doesn't go longer this way. He goes, hey, come on, come on, give me my ball, give me my ball, give me my ball. And he provokes. No? And now you have a different anatomy that Mali can lift his head 90 degrees, no problem. In the standard of the shepherd stands, this dog has a 45 degrees neck. If the shepherd would do this, he must go this. Okay. And it depends, of course, on the anatomy. And if he turns the head, stand up. So, if he turns the head, in this way, look at the shoulder. Yeah? The shoulder comes in this way. And then, thank you. And then the modern judging is the dog should go straight. And this is against the nature. So if you want to put this dog in the adaptive in the box or the field, then you destroy the grades and you make the dog blue. And I have many of my friends, they train the young dog for healing this nice modern box and they never become dogs. You remember the Bundesliga of Jenny and the Bundesliga of Tobias and all this? Yeah? And Yogi's last dog? A nice healing. Nobody goes there for mating. They're not dogs. They are good dogs. But this dog is work here and not work here. So if you have a good dog, and if you have a young dog, if you have a dog with hyperactivity and thin nerves, put him in the box and he adapts and he gets sureness in this. If you have a gray dog, mine, don't bring him up as a blue dog. If you train always blue, the general type you get by nature makes influence, has influence by training. If you train the gray dog always blue, you cannot develop the gray. So you must make the decision, what way do I go with my talent? And it's always worthwhile to develop the individual talent before you put this dog into shitty exercises, because they are not his aim. And this is a very important question, how do I work with my young dog, and it depends on the dog. With three years, four years, you reach the same point. Either you go this way or this way, if you work into the proper tempo. But remember this, this is also one picture you must always have in your head. The whole job is conflict management. So you always have to make the decision, do I go by the green, or the gray, or do I go by the blue? The dog shall have a combine. Riches, green. What does the dog do? Now you want to do a combine. 
put the gray out of the green. How do you put the gray out of the green? Two options. Either you make it positive, that you say, if you do green, you get your drive aim. So you have to reinforcement in this moment where the group is calm. You will never get it with the biceps. You always get it with the trapezius. So you must either move with the trapezius, this is the way to the elbow, or you must stand in a way where you have no biceps and you go down, the dog is with four legs on the, on the, on the ground and you just pull here with an open arm, and not with a closed hand. And then you pray to dog, <coughs> and you reinforce before he hits, but he will hit. Because he will kill and we have to pray. So what do you have to do? You have to teach him no hell, no way it's hell if you change to gray. I will show you the end later. This is always in the seminar, the first day I have to teach all dogs, here is green and here is gray. And plus is blue. Yeah. And then uh, this takes me seconds. And then the dog stands. But the hand it takes 20, 40 repetitions to the dog, mostly one or two exercises. And he understands. So, in your head, in dog's head, there is for one million year the same program, which is a program. Nothing else. It's not moral. It's not ethics. It's look for your maximum comfort. And nothing else. Therefore, all the exercises are shitty exercises for the dog. It's not maximum comfort. Maximum comfort is the driving. Make it maximum comfort. How? Play the game. Have to if you make the exercise, it's heaven. If you don't play the exercise, if you play dry and dry pain, it's hell. And then the dog learns, okay, exercise is maximum comfort. But the way you teach is important. That the dog gets fun in the world. Everybody wants to have fun. It's never fun, it's always limited when the tail goes like this. Because it's conflict. Okay, now, how do we come to this, that we can uh, reach this high performance? And how can we stabilize the exercises? This, with the three legs, never tips. <coughs> this is always stable. So you need three forces to stabilize something. <coughs> this is our function which is perfect with drive, with technique, with coordination. The first, of course, is the drive. If there is no drive, you will not get a stable exercise. So, if you want to go for a Formula One, you cannot buy a tractor. If you want to go to a good performance, you cannot buy a blonde shepherd. You have to have a dog with talents for the good work. This is the first. Then you should not destroy it and bring it up. And don't work with a dog which you need with personality where you have to develop the activity. Don't work in blue, work in gray. To develop the gray, to develop the drive you need. Work in gray and green. If you have drive, work the blue. But one plus one is more than only one. If you are able to put compulsion in the same direction of drive, you have more. This is maybe someone of you has heard from Nepopo, who has heard from Nepopo. Yeah? This is quite modern. They stand there they have a dog sitting there, they have a spike collar on the dog, here is a ball, and then the dog shall look up, and then comes negative, 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 and when the dog looks up, negative stops, which is the first 
positive, main pole, so we have negative, positive, and then comes the ball, and this is the second positive. Yeah? And by this, they make a connection that the compulsion goes in the direction of the drive, and then the dog watches and wants the ball, and he there, and uh, so many people think, how can we arrange this, that the dog eats the shit and makes the drive. Okay? It was interesting for me when I heard Bart two years ago, Bart Pellot, uh, he got rid of all this positive, 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 which is so important. But he said, my old trainer, 40 years ago, he always gives a little tick with a stick when he recalls, when he goes for the retrieving, uh, and uh, he come in with, with, again, with his unique list to support this. Not to destroy it, because the compulsion also goes in this direction. And it's very difficult for the dog to make the difference. Which direction should I go with compulsion? Do you remember? Conflict makes which color? Conflict makes which color? Gray or blue? blue. So, this is gray with the drive. This is blue against the drive. Okay? So you have always, when you come with a stress, with a hurt, with a compulsion, you have only the option of the dog, it can come here and it can come there. And you must have dentist fingers for this to put it in the right level. That if you want here, you should not do there. On the other side, sometimes people come, they have a happy talk. I said, hey, give a real compulsion. And they say, no. <laughs> and the dog makes more. Yeah? So they give compulsion, and they don't reach the dog in this direction, they reach the dog in this direction. So this is the only thing I have in my head when I train the dog. I want, I know the exercises, I teach the exercise, and I want my dog here. When he makes this, I make this. When he makes this, I must think. Do I do this or do I do this? When I have a young dog, he does not yet learn this. Because he will not understand that he has to drive for the exercise. He will be disturbed, he goes to the blue dog is destroyed. And you must teach the dog step by step by step by step by step to eat more and more dirt without forgetting to drive. And of course, remember about appetites. If you want to have most action for the exercise, you go on the training field and your dog is This way, if the dog has learned, here comes lots of drive and stress, but it doesn't take it here. And you have a clear signal control to say, go, now, exercise. And this is nobody tells you about this, because they are all not able to handle aggression and compulsion. But this is the most important thing, that you have the knowledge and the sensitivity to act with this. Ask Jessica how difficult it is to keep motivation for employees. This is difficult. And you cannot always do this here. You have to do this also in this way. And the gambling and the proper uh, balance is difficult, but makes success for high performance. So, oh sorry. How do we reach this stable situation with the three forces? Here we want to go. And we 
reach it over four steps, plan A, plan B, plan C. Plan A is <coughs> dog shall go to this exercise. Old style of training, 40 years ago, hell, 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 pain, 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 hell, no pain. And the dog learns this situation of training, high stress, and I can, I can, I can go out of the hell. And he finds his white spots where he can act properly. Very good selection for dogs. Only the best survive. Um, but with all these negative, negative, negatives, the dog learns when we talk about learning that work is only no fun. Work is negative. This we don't want. We want the dog who is open for the work, who want, likes to work. So the first is we took nowadays the drive, teach the dog you can get your food. And we handle the dog in the way that we put him here and we say, hey, look at this, this is heaven. Here you get your clicker, here you get your food, and here is nice. And the dog learns in this situation what you create can be a word, can be a place, can be a time. And waiting for his driving. This is plan A, which means it's immediate reinforcement. Immediate. Is 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 seconds. When the dog has learned, it's 0 0.5 to 3 seconds. But if you want to teach quick, immediate reinforcement and always reinforcement. With full uh, of When you have yesterday the young dog in the barking, yeah. He's standing there, and uh, Helga, for example, has not a great continuum. Okay, she barks, 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 then she has a lot. What is always reinforcement? Always reinforcement is if you bark, you chase. Yeah? So I'm standing there in the helper, and the dog is back, 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 back. This is why I'm set to barking. And then the dog has a movement, which is a flying prey. Reinforcement, he changed the prey, and with the other side, I put a voice on it. So, after some repetitions, I can reduce my body to zero, and I just say ba 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 ba, and the dog goes on barking. And with this, you make a continuum in the barking. Yeah? For this young dog, you stand too stiff. I said it's the third barking uh, situation. Okay. Uh, you teach 